반갑습니다. 옴 샴티 비스티유 비스티미 Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I would like to talk about self-love and self-realization. Self-love. <laughs> Ooh, are we pushed away from that? Are we pushed away from that as kids even? children when we get confused about messages and we realize or feel that we are actually stupid and not doing the right thing very difficult to bring up a child I can imagine I never did it so I'm not really here to comment on that but seeing other people how they talk about it you can really cause trauma within a child a, a, a self-conflict which causes self-hate don't love it, love themselves as, as human beings. They don't realize what they are, because it's like, no, you, you did this because blah, 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 I said so, blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff, which I had quite a lot of that from my brothers. It's right because I said it. <laughs> okay, all right. I must be, I must be inadequate to understand your amazing influence, intellect. So therefore. I can't understand it, so therefore I must be not worthy of actually being in your presence. So why do you put up with me? <laughs> Self-love. Love yourself. If you're addicted to anything like junk food, alcohol, smoking, pop, any of these things that you keep doing to your body, you're not loving your vehicle. Therefore, you're not loving yourself. It's just your vehicle. This, your body is your vehicle. I love the way the Vedas talk about your your body, which is your five senses are the horses that carry the chariot. The chariot is your vessel, your vehicle, your body. The reins are your mind, which try to keep the five senses in in order. And the, the driver is like the brain behind the mind. And then you're sitting at the back observing all of this is your soul. And the horses are bolted, <laughs> the five senses are bolted in society. And we've got no time to look at our souls, our self love, our, our, our true essence, our self, our true self. Because we're, we're following the, the, the five senses and the mind that have gone completely haywire. <laughs> so there's no chance or no, no, no chance for self love or self realization of what you really are. We, we don't have this and we, we don't really, we, we're only just starting to get this knowledge now. This is like the, the secret societies and, and these mystic schools are starting, their teachings are starting to come out now and people are starting to digest them. The information is, is, is all there, it's amazing. And you, you start the work on yourself, you realize actually you need to love yourself, not in a narcissistic or sociopathic way, but love yourself in the way that I'm not going to do that because that's going to take me to there. And why do I want to go to there? I don't want to, like an enormous hangover tomorrow morning. Maybe I'd like a few glasses of wine, but not like five bottles, which is what I could do when I was younger. It's crazy, you know, it's crazy. And so you, you start to self-love and your you, self-realization, what you actually are. Who am I? What am I doing here? Why am I here? Three enormous questions that we should all be asking ourselves on a regular basis I would say with your meditations and then the answers will actually come but the answers never come without a question first very important line I put it in a song why was all this stuff not taught in school uh, in my Qigong classes people say well you should get out there and teach your, your Qigong and, and these philosophies in schools I'd love to I'd love to do more community centres. We, we live in a restrictive world because it's money. Money, if I wanted to become a banker, I had the, the opportunity to do that in 2005, 2006, when I had many people going up into the banking system and we're not friends anymore, but they, they, they realised that all this derivatives, this phony world, absolutely phony world, going in and making a fortune out of really conning people uh, before the big crash all millionaires living in big houses 
they're not really loving themselves, they're all empty because they had this goal of money, they're given this goal, but not really loving themselves, they're, they're external, going out and chasing it. So I'd love to teach this in school, but it's, it's the restrictions of money. Uh, therefore, we've set up a charity for the elderly to try and get uh, money coming in from that, donations to help the elderly. And, and yes, I do want to set up a community interest company to help the children. So I do want to get out and teach this at school. I've done a few seminars, as it were, in schools and had some amazing results with children and expanding their minds. You know, I had one little girl actually come up to me and she put her hands on a dungeon and she went, thank you so much for coming into our school. I learned so much from you. <laughs> and it melted my heart, absolutely melted my heart. So yes, this information needs to come out to everybody about self-love, looking after yourself as a human being. We're not even taught how to make a business really properly at school. I was said, well, what do you want to do? I said, well, I'm kind of into entertainment. I want to be a musician. I said, well, they showed me about media, becoming a TV presenter and all this kind of stuff, uh, becoming a reporter, all this other stuff but not about setting up a business for myself. Didn't know anything about that. Why not? It should be, we should all be individuals and, and setting up businesses or working with other individuals that you enjoy doing and because you don't like being at the forefront of it or being in the middle of it. You just want to get on with a role and therefore you should have enlightened enough bosses to say, okay, here's my role. Yeah, you do that, get on with it and let's get it right, yeah. But we weren't taught that in school. We weren't taught that. It, it was um, apparently I went to one of the top schools in England at the time, anyway. So they say, uh, but it didn't teach me any of that. It, it really said, uh, read the newspapers. Newspapers have everything. It's got all the information you want. And then when I realised that it was people who weren't really open-minded and they had certain agendas coming in from certain newspapers oh well this is not really the truth is it but i was conditioned and programmed to say take your information from the newspaper because that's the truth that's the real source of information excuse me no it isn't no i realized that and we don't really get taught to say how do we serve others with our products and services? How do we serve others? So the, it's the mindset of not saying, I want to get one million pounds into myself. It's the mindset, how do I serve one million people? How do I get to one million people so that I can serve them and give them what they need or what they want? But value, give them value. So you're giving value to somebody else, not just selling a commodity for the sake of selling a commodity. You're giving them value, giving them worth. Again, we weren't taught that in school. It was all about how brilliant we are. Look at me, I'm brilliant. I'm the banker. I can do this. I've got all this money and I can go around the world and do whatever I want. Good for you, mate. You know, good for you. But how many people have you served and how many people have you ripped off? <laughs> How many people have you ripped off? Oh, I'll just say this. I saw Benjamin Fulford the other, uh, today on the video and he was saying that there's this big cleansing of the world and we're all up for our £100,000 each as human beings because of the financial fraud. Well, that'd be interesting. Let's see if that happens. I'm not going to dismiss it, but I'll just put it up there and leave it as it is. But it's the self-love and the self-realisation that's so important to us as human beings. Because if you can't love yourself, how do you expect other people to love you? It's really difficult to love people who don't love themselves because you want to start to have a relationship with them. And it starts to grow and then all of a sudden, boom, they feel like, it feels like they've disappeared because you, 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 they've kind of realized that you're not loving yourself. So how can they love you? And you, you realise they're not loving themselves, so how can you love them? And then when you start to love yourself and realise, oh, I'm actually taking care of myself here, there's nothing for you to worry about, people become easier around you, easier in your company. They feel rely, reliant on you, as it were, that you will be there because you're, you're, you're loving yourself, you're looking after yourself properly and you're, you're 
actualizing your realizations you're starting to manifest your perceptions your understandings of these higher energies onto this planet which is i feel part of the reason we're here we have the connections of the earth and the heavens or the higher energies and the lower energies and we're kind of in the middle of that and we can have either one we can go with either one so self-love self-realization really important get your head around that concept so love yourself and realize yourself and i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next video sarang hamnida Thank you.